Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That's the Everyday City Carry. And today, today, tonight, actually, because it's nighttime right now, it's like 10 30 or something. Gonna do the unboxings, dude, because I've got two boxes here from my friends in the Apex Pass Round Group. And you guys need more content. So even though I should be slipping, gonna do some more videos. I've got two of these. I think I know what one of them is. Uh, let us go for the other one that I don't know. I'm gonna set up the dual screen cam, of course, because that's what we do. That's how we do it up here. Hold on. And make sure the face tracking is on because we high tech up in this you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be using i got so much cat fur on me i probably got cat her cat her cat fur on me uh hat here but uh yeah we're gonna keep it going so i'm gonna be using the civivi mckenna and i am doing a giveaway of my other mckenna which is an all black this one has the od green backspacer because bob b the homie not bobby bob b um donated this to the channel man you know pretty cool dude let's open this up real quick because kelly's sleeping and if i wake her up i'm gonna get in trouble and i don't want to do that so let's see if i can do this without hurting myself yeah you know i like the mckenna civivi I haven't been picking up a lot of knives, but man, if I did, I remember at one point I was just getting every Civivi there was, yo. And I still wish I could do that, and I'm gonna get back to that as soon as the uh, the money is getting, you know, as soon as Uncle Scrooge gives me that inheritance, you know what I'm saying? Let's open this up. What do I got in here? Whoa. What do we do with this? What do we do with this? Right? And uh, it is in, ooh, can't show that. It is in a Groove Life, Groove Life box. What is that? I've got, I've got a knife, a Protec, okay. And I've got, hmm, oh, a ring, ooh. Oh yeah, these guys are like letting us have these in the pass around group, because we're awesome. And they want us to check it out. This is the unboxing of that. Check that out. I got a groove. I've got a ton of groove life stuff. Swanky little uh, bubble wrap pouch thing too, though. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna turn it around because my address is on the back. And you guys are all psychos, and you might kill me. Not just playing. Uh, let's see. Okay, more address crap. Let's see. It says no BS. Warranty for life. Break it, lose it, we replace it. Okay to receive an exclusive offer. Our story, Groove, was founded by Peter Jackson. No, wait, that's the guy that, uh, <laughs> that made Lord of the Rings. By Peter Goodwin on the banks of Moraine Creek in remote Alaska. Ooh, cool. As an adventure guide, Peter wanted a wedding band he could wear that was safe and breathable and that kept up with his outdoor lifestyle. All righty, let's put that here, actually. Got a little uh, groove life thing here. Follow him on Instagram. Ray, thanks so much for your willingness to check out our rings. Please, please let us know if you need different sizes or styles. Have a great day. Uh, I don't know what that says. Alora? Let's go with that. Let's go with that, man. It says groove life, pretty thick business card. Oh, Abra. Abra Northcutt is the dude. And they are from Tennessee, it says. Alrighty. Let's see. Groove Life presents Project Adventure. That scares me. You guys know. I saw Jaws too early. I watched Jaws too early. And sharks scare me, but also fascinate me. Dude, this is cool. They got like a whole little cool little presentation here. Look at that, dude. Crazy catfish. They're doing like the, uh, what is that called? Snowmobiles? YouTube.com slash Groove Life. Whoa, and NASCAR, paragliding. Oh man, they're all in. Let us check out the rings though, right? I have a feeling this uh, mic is uh, not hitting well, so let's keep it there. Uh, this one says Zeus, Zeus, 
so let's see what's inside. Whoa. Oh, it's like a silicone ring. Huh. Very cool. Okay. For like working out and stuff, that'd be good, right? Or if you're doing some kind of, uh, you know, more active activity. Active activity. What the? Get a vocabulary, bro. And this one. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. It's got blue on the inside. Cool. So these are like the silicone jams, you know? Um, good for working out, you know? I, I wish I got some smaller ones from Kelly. That would be... Would have been good, but... Yo, uh, props, Groove Life. Let's show the rings again. I'm gonna talk about them in another video. So I can uh, showcase these or something. This one's called the Zeus, and this one just says Groove Life on it. This one's black. This one is blue and gray. Let me see if this is on cam, actually. One sec. Yeah, yeah, I think it's doing good. But uh, yeah, man, this looks pretty awesome. They fit me. I got the size 8. It's perfect. Perfect, man. I'm definitely gonna rock these uh, so you'll see these in some videos I, I will check out the quality see how they last with my active lifestyle of walking around the city right <laughs> let's get this out for a little bit is it still face tracking me yeah all right now for the pro tech and this says drop on it drop so you know what that means. It's got the mass drop or drop now. I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. <coughs> uh, whoa, face track is not. Now it's on, there you go. My bad, had a sneeze. So I have never held a ProTech before, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what it says. Quality, craftsmanship, integrity. At Protec, our mission is to provide you the highest caliber of humankind's oldest tool across our line of professional grade, everyday carry, and investor collector knives. We strive to offer the ultimate in our core values. I right, made in the USA. People like that. Got a nice little uh Suede kind of pouch with Protec USA. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa. Caution, sharp edge, handle with care. Okay. Ooh. This looks. What is this? I don't remember opting for this, but if I did, that's awesome. I'm a little more hyper today for some reason. What is this? What is this, guys? Guys, what is this? You gonna tell me? You gonna tell me what this is? I don't see anything telling you what it is. It says MDX. I think this is the Mordax, right? If I am not mistaken, I think this is the Mordax. Let's put the knife coffin back. I like saying that better. Knife coffin, not knife box. You know what I'm saying? We all end up in boxes though. We all end up in boxes. I'm gonna put that there so that I could remember where the centering is. Gonna check on the video once again. It's perfect. So, first impressions right away. Uh, not a glossy finish. And yo, look at that. Look at that, my dudes. Flat screws for the pocket clip. This already looks like it's gonna slide in and out real well. Let's check it out real quick. Awesome. Comes in and out the pocket, bruh. I guess this is a button lock? Dude, look at that. Let's get the action going. Everyone's like, what are you doing, Flipper? Flipper, blah, 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 blah. Amazing action, amazing. Pretty big, pretty large knife. Don't know the specs on it, but you guys know I got the small fish paws and look at that And yeah, it is a button lock Ooh, Interesting Huh It's a bit stiff still right now, but it's definitely Gotta like give it a little shake You could pull that right out action is really good I've never felt anything like that before. That's what she said, but I'm being honest 
It's a uh, ooh. That's that feels nice, man. That's smooth. It's like there's no grit stopping the blade at all. Very interesting. Look at that. Um Hmm. Is this No. Check out that back thing. I don't even know what that is. It's not a back spacer because it's like not open construction. It's like partial? Um, at a loss for words here, but there are two holes there for a lanyard, I'm assuming. And uh, yeah, the pocket clip looks nice. I wish it was a little bit higher, but I guess they wanted to keep it in center there. Not reversible. It's uh, only one position pocket clip and ferrum forged design on top so this is a protec ferrum forged drop mordax is that what is that what this is i gotta tell you this though let's cut stuff i think that's one thing people want because even though it doesn't matter right people want me to cut stuff that's just how it is let's do a slow one that seems pretty freaking sharp. Pretty sharp. I don't know. I just messed up the last cut, though, I think. And that's what happened, because that should just cut. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was me. That wasn't a knife. Yep. This is really sharp. Um, oh, I was pressing this to try to, like, disengage the lock, because it, it feels like when you hold it, it's so, I think the, um, the handle feels slim enough. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a button lock to me. You know what I'm saying? But it is. So I just wasn't used to it. I was about to disengage the damn thing with a frame lock or a liner lock. Get it together, Ray. And what do we do this? What do we do with this? Throw it away. And then we worry about it later when you guys aren't on camera. That's how we do it up. Check out that blade right there. Pretty sharp. You've got this finger choil thing in the front. Very comfortable in hand for me. And uh, you get the drop shut bun lock. Sort of drop shut. So what happens is it doesn't drop. I don't know. Let's see. If you press it, it doesn't drop down like a PM2 or something. You got to kind of like coach it in. But it is very freaking enjoyable though. Look at that. Kind of got the hang of it already. Gonna be flipping this. Don't know if I could carry it though. Jeez, this is fun. I could just play with this the whole video, but I got another box. One more look. Look at that. Beautiful. It says Protect USA on there. Not too much branding. It says drop. Oh, it's in CPM 20 CV, by the way. You guys are probably like, bro, what's up with a steel? Let me know. I will put specs up for this because I don't know a lot about it, as you guys know. Is this aluminum? I'm not sure. It's probably titanium, though. And uh, I'm going to check on the price of it, too. But, uh, yeah, I like the way it looks. I love the way it functions. I'm more of a function guy and aesthetics guy. Right? Because I only use my knives to cut boxes. That's pretty much it. I don't go tactical or go bushcrafty or cut heavy wires and stuff like that. But this is pretty amazing in action. I kind of got it now. Look at that. What is happening? Okay, let's put this away because I got another box to unbox and it's already like 14 minutes, dude. Take it ace, Ray. Take it ace. Take it ace, buddy. Man, I guess doing unboxings at night, like, I can just talk forever, yo. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if you guys are going to like that, but definitely off my rocker in this one. Uh, let's open the other guy. I think this is my knife, that's my guess, because I put in a knife in the pass around group, but it feels heavier, you know? Still gonna rock the McKenna, still gonna rock the McKenna. Let's just cut it like that. Okay, and then pry it with our own hands the rest of the way, yo. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, it is just my knife. <laughs> I thought there was something else that I've done. Let's go like this. It's just my knife. I already know. This is my Wii Schism, which I sent around to the pass around group, but I am glad to have it back. Check that out, my dudes. Remember, I did a review on this. Kelly bought me this for my anniversary. It is a beautiful, beautiful knife, and it's one of those knives I'm never going to get rid of. It's just uh, really snappy, very comfortable, just a really classy gentleman's folder with a warning. This was super sharp when I got it. It like bit me so many times, but I still love it. And uh, has not lost its spunk. Look at that. After traveling to so many people, still perfect. Yep, centering is still perfect. Everything is still perfect about it. We knives, mad prizops to you, man. You got the three holes on top. I already did a review on this, so I'm not gonna get too into it. I'm just having fun with you guys now. But you know what, man? You know what, my dudes? I am probably gonna release this tomorrow. It is Monday right now. It's probably 11 now. And I took some time out just to hang out with you folks. But uh, I'm going to get to sleep. Uh, this is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.